What do you like Dawn then? What? No. And she doesn't like me either. She was just using me so she could get some cash to score. Yeah, well, she seemed pretty angry when you tried to pay her. She's not into me. It was just a deal. Well, not every woman is using you. But look at Rebecca. Oh, she couldn't even show up, Pete. Well, she's got a brain injury. I'll just come for a pint, eh? Well, Debbie probably won't even be in there, and if she is, we'll go to the mall. I don't give her stuff. I am done, Pete. I am done with women. No one's gonna want me now. Not looking like this. So either just shut up or go. Bex, I swear I would have never set that up if I'd known he was gonna be a pig. I'm over it. Oh, but. What are you doing? I have started carrying this notebook around, so I am reminding myself what a complete idiot Ross is. Never let me go near him ever again. Roger that. Excuse me, but that's my brother. But he was a pig, you can't deny it. Yeah, well, that's not his fault. Get us another pint. Please. Pete, hey. Well, having a nice time. I've not seen you for ages, all Ross. How's he doing? Actually. I thought he was doing much better, sir, if I'm honest. But it turns out not. Oh, I had this really bad dream about the acid attack the other night. It was awful. Poor Ross. Not exactly dinner time conversation, is it? How could anyone do such a thing? Yeah. So what do you think, Debbie? Can you shed any light? I think you should go right now. Don't you tell me what to do. Have we got a problem? Yeah, actually. A massive one. But let's see if Debbie can help. Like I said, you should go. What? Are you gonna set your tough guy on me, are you? She ruined my brother's life! What? Ross is? Come on, Debbie. Tell her. I'm sure she'll be so proud. Like I said. What do you want me to? Pete, what are you talking about? Pete, go home. Debbie, get in the back room. Mum, just tell me what he meant. Sarah, will you ease up on your mum? She's clearly upset. And yet she does have a point. If it's about what happened to Ross. Sarah. Don't have to answer any of this. Yes, she does, and she's my mum, so keep out of it. You tell him, kid. Swear on my life you didn't do anything bad. Come on, we're getting Jack and we're going. Mum, swear on my life you had nothing to do with it. Tell me. I can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wish I could. I never, ever wanted anything to happen to Ross. And I never mentioned acid, it was him. I wanted him to get beat up because I wanted him to stop hurting us. So how come Ross ended up with it in his face? Because they got the wrong man. He got the wrong man, it was an accident. He went too far. Oh, Ross. <coughs> oh, that pain and it's all your fault. Ross knows the truth and so does Pete. And we are trying to move forwards. Just, you let us do that, OK? No, there's nothing OK about this. Sarah, I'm so... Stay away from me! Sarah, please! Why are you even still with him if you hate him so much? We're working on it. Don't make me go home with a please, Granny Faith, please. Maybe just one night. No! You're coming home with me. You just let things settle, yeah? 